Brother and sister, this is your energy, brother wisdom, what's going on? All right, I'm coming straight cut to the chase. Um, ain't got time for no um, whatever, you know, I got to get ready for the gym too. Um, <laughs> got to get my workout. Um, all right, we're going in on this here. Um, the war that we are facing is an ongoing war that has been in place for the last... 450, 460 calendar years, actually 500 years. We're going to go 500, 503 years, somewhere around there. It's about 503 calendar years altogether. Um, all right. What you must understand, brothers and sisters, is that this is these are two different wars that's going on at one time. All right. The one war that's happening right now is called an interstellar War. These are war between two combatants. All right. This is war between two combatants from two different planetary systems. All right. So we are in the um, the Alpha Universe. All right. The uh, Omega uh, Galaxy. All right. Um, these inorganic beings, so-called white people, what we're talking about, they're from. Uh, within the Zeta universe, the Mundus galaxy, all right, and uh, they're you know in, in the Magnus star system, and they uh, are um, long time combatants with our species, all right, and you know all throughout this Alpha universe, you know they are you know they're literally working to try to infiltrate the alpha beings all across this universe. All right. This is the, this is the one part of the war that's going on. The other part is a cosmic war. Um, the dictionary want to call it cosmic war, religious war, but it's a, it's a war between the balanced and unbalanced, uh, species. In this case here, the unbalanced, have this desire that the balance should be under their subjection. So all of our brothers and sisters, all right, who look like us, um, we went through this battle and things happened. We talked about this over and over again. We talked about how um, so much of our land was destroyed, the, the structures and, you know, that how we fell from our true powers. Um <clears throat> And this is this is a cosmic war. So this is an ongoing cosmic and ongoing interstellar war. All right. And when you talk about interstellar, you're talking about, you know, universes. You're talking about forces. All right. From different universes that are fighting. So um, what we're dealing with right now is these two wars right now. All right. You can tell the interstellar war that's happening right now. Um this fake ass snow, the cold weather. We talked about the cold weather, you know, the endothermic uh, uh, system that they use, um, the the cloud seeding spray in the sky to keep the sun from us because the sun is our source of power um, using their money, their monies because money is the, the source of their power. All right. As long as they have money, they are uh, strong when they do not have any money. They are weak. All right. So you got to understand their source of power. Our source of power is what the the the, the intelligence, the intelligence uh, and the intelligent designs made by the structures that we made before. All right. Understand the battle that's going on. As you see how in within this interstellar war, how these beings have literally caused us to be off track. All right. And they have introduced us to so many different religions that uh, are not indigenous to our planet. You got brothers and sisters running around talking about Allah, Jehovah, God, Jesus, Yahushua, Yahuwah, Yahweh. I mean, come on, you know, he's going on and on and on. You know, originally uh, uh, Krishna was ours. It wasn't a religion. It was the description of um, the, the brothers and sisters who were in this dark energy power. All right. Um, Buddha belonged to us. It was a way of life. It wasn't an individual, but you know, we had the, the fat Buddha because we were, we, we were like, we in the fatness of life. 
All right. That's what it was all about. It wasn't about worshiping anybody because we didn't worship anyone but ourselves. All right. So this system has caused the original beings to worship other beings that are not indigenous to this planet. All right. Allah, Jehovah, Jesus, Yahweh, Yahushua. All right. All all in all the above. You know, these are what reptilian kings. All right. Now, who's organizing this war, the reptilians, and they're now children, you know, even though these inorganic beings were once uh, or initially created by Zeus, who took over? When Zeus abandoned them, who took over? The reptilians, the draconians, all these these other beings, you know, who are uh, uh, non-indigenous to this planet. And they came up and set up shop. They came and set up shop. And right now, they're working real hard. These last few years, you know, these beings have literally caused the inorganic uh, to, I'm sorry, has caused the organic beings of this planet to fall off course at a, at a drastic rate. All right. So understand that we are in the midst of a cosmic war. This forces between balanced and unbalanced beings. All right. And we are in a, in an, interstellar war and this is a war uh where you're talking about uh, combatants and we have always been combatants of these beings you know i like the way B uh, brother bobby hammond had put it you know brother brother bobby hammond it was like you know um we've been at battle for a long time and is it is it is evident that that there is a battle going on and we have forgotten about what their forefathers did. And it's been so long that we have accepted our enemy as our own. All right. This is a part of the interstellar war that is going on at this present moment. All right. What is our duty? Our duty is to return the balance of ourselves and our species. All right. This is why everybody is being pretty much compelled and 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 given information on rebuilding structures, structures of design that will return the power to us. All right. You got to understand, understand, overstand everything that's been put before us by these inorganic beings is all through this cosmic war that we are facing at this present moment. We are in the midst of a cosmic war. We're in the midst of um, uh, interstellar war where, you know, you're talking about worlds, two different worlds from two different universes in a battle. And this is not only our planet. It's not only only our planet. It's so many other planets. But like we say, there's brothers and sisters on other planets who have freed themselves and have literally destroyed their enemy. All right. You're talking about a type of enemy that that set up their laws for the indigenous beings to follow. They set up their laws for the indigenous beings to follow so that the indigenous would think that they are the same. We did a message on that once before. All right. And YouTube, this is not hate speech. We're telling what the fuck is going on, okay? Before y'all go in and talk about, oh, this is hate speech. No, I want you to know this is what this is what the fuck is going on. You got to understand that we are in the midst of a battle and your forefathers came here and brought this shit to my planet. Understand what the fuck is going on. All right? So this is what's happening at this present moment, brothers and sisters. This is what's happening. This is an interstellar war with beings who came from other universes. How did they get here? The gateways and portals. All right. Yeah, they, the, the crack, the sky cracked open. They found the way we hid our planet directly in the center of this galaxy, the mega galaxy, our galaxy right here. Our planet is in the center of the galaxy. So when you look up in the sky, you see the other planets that's up there. Uh, that's 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 uh, uh, ahead of us because we hit our planet in the middle of the galaxy. The true angelic beings of this world. We are the well, I'll say we are the some of the most powerful beings in this universe. But we've been tricked into thinking that we are different. All right. We've been tricked 
It's not about who's from Africa and who's not who's not from Africa. It's all about who's indigenous and who's not indigenous. All right. Understand where we stand right now, brothers and sisters. So if you want balance, then you have to rebuild that balance. If you want power, you have to rebuild that power. These inorganic beings have taught us how to pray, 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 pray. Oh, we're going to pray about this. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, I ask you to come down right now ah, and give us the power. Ha! Ah. And Lord, we need to fight against this enemy. Ha, ain't nobody coming for us. Ain't no Lord. Ain't no God. Ain't no Jesus. Ain't no Holy Spirit. Come on now. Brothers and sisters, we are the Christ. We are the Christ. The Christ is not a man. The Christ is a people. Christ is a is a specific beings of species that were designed to work directly under Christ energy. And that Christ energy is pure darkness, pure dark energy that we can transform into light energy. All right. So understand, brothers and sisters, that we are in the midst of a ongoing current cosmic war. And an ongoing current interstellar war. And these inorganic beings will fight to make sure that they uh, that their system stays active. All the spraying in the sky, um, all the the you got the the the, the landfills, <clears throat> trash everywhere. Our planet was never trashy. Before these beings came, we didn't have trash. This was one of the cleanest planets you could have came to. The water was so pure you could touch the water and it would heal your soul. Now the water is so contaminated you touch the water and it damage your body, your soul, and your spirit. And these inorganic beings have done this to the planet. There are our uh, 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 brothers and sisters who have to hide the children who are born who can clean the water. Because what do they want? They want to gather up the children. And probe their bodies. They're still trying to figure out our universe and our planet. But then they say, oh, yeah, you know, we're from here, too. No, you're not. Get the fuck out of here. All right. So we got to understand, brothers and sisters, that this is the midst. We're in the midst of a, of a war. This is an ongoing war. And the only way that you're going to stop this war is you got to build. All right. Build your power. Because all of our weapons are within us. All right. What is within us? The cosmos. The kingdom of God is within you. What is the kingdom of God? The cosmos. The kingdom of the gods or the kingdom of the angel, the angelic beings is the cosmos. Nature. So the nature and the cosmos is within us, which means that our weapons are within us and we can use them on the outside. But the atmosphere has to be favorable. And like we said before, and this is something that Bob, Brother Bobby Hemet was saying. The atmosphere must be favorable to us. They have made the atmosphere favorable to themselves and we have succumbed ourselves to a system that is not supposed to be in place, brothers and sisters. Working for money, working for this. You got so many brothers and sisters who are caught up in this money system that they don't want to become more powerful. They think that, oh, I got all this stuff and I got power. I got all these shoes. I got all these clothes. I got all this money. I got all these cars. I got this big house. I got, but you have no power. You have no knowledge of the power. And all that you know is what your enemy taught you. And what your enemy taught you is completely against the laws of nature and the cosmos. This is an ongoing interstellar ongoing cosmic war that we are facing at this present moment, at this present time, this present day, this present hour, whatever hour you listen to this message, this present hour, this is an ongoing war. And the only way we can defeat this enemy is to what? We have to build our power. We have to, we have to literally bring back the structures of power. Like we say, yeah, they may have our gold, and the diamonds and the gold of the diamonds were, were two of the main components to use to make what? Portals. That's what the diamonds were used for. The gold and the diamonds were used to create portals. And what are they hoarding? Gold and diamonds. All right. Gold and diamonds. You know, brother and I, brother and I was at work, was talking and 
And um, uh, the brother said, he said, you know, um, he said, you know, there was a, a brother back in the 80s and he had like all this gold chains all over his body. And he was one of the first brothers to create a car that ran on water. And he was working on a car that was going to run on air. And he says, you know what happened to that brother? He said, all of a sudden, somebody just killed that brother. He said, somebody killed that brother and took all his gold. See, you see what I'm saying? Now, this is something that, you know, this brother has told me. And I was like, God damn, for real? And he says, yes. You know, he says, yes. Yeah. He said, that was a brother who was cre who had created the first car to run on water. He said, he said that he, that, that he, that he was not the first, you know, the other, other, these other people behind were not the first ones, but say he, this brother back in the eighties and he had lots of gold around his neck, the pure gold chains around his neck. All right. And he had created a car that ran off water and he was getting ready to create a car that ran on air and he was killed. All right. Understand what's going on, brothers and sisters. Like we say, this is an interstellar war. All right. Which is a war between two combatants. We have been battling these inorganic beings for the last 6000 calendar years. I don't know how many fucking cycles that energy cycles that is. But we have been battling these beings for the last 6,000 calendar years. All right. Ever since our brother Zeus created them, because you got to remember Zeus created these beings because he wanted someone to worship him. He wanted someone to worship him. He didn't want he no longer wanted to worship himself. He wanted to be all powerful, almighty. He created these beings and then they turned on him. And he killed some of them off. And then the rest of them were on their own. And then they were adopted by the reptilians and the draconians and the insectoid beings. You know, they were they were accepted. And then what did they do? They began to clone them. Reproduce them. Oh, yes. You see, I mean, this goes deeper than what you can act, what you could ever imagine, brothers and sisters. So, um. Myself, High Prince Sima Bath to Re Anu. I am Kamerian Anunnaki. Unaka di Raka U. Te Rakust al Raka U. Ma. I am Cosmic Elder, Shaman, Cosmic Prince, Timekeeper. And we are coming into some ominous times, brothers and sisters. Understand what is going on in this at this present moment. We've got to pick up our pace and understand that this is a battle that we can win. And, and we don't want to talk about winning and losing as far as games. We talking about winning and losing as far as our dignity, as far as our strength, as far as us being the true angels of this galaxy, the, 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 the of this world. Do you understand how many battles our ancestors fought in the in the in in our past and how we traveled from our planet to other planets to help to dissolve an enemy? And this enemy saw us as a threat and they made it here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So understand, brothers and sisters, that we are in the midst of an ongoing cosmic, ongoing inter interplanetary, interstellar war at this present moment. All right. If you see, I didn't use no theatrics and music and all this because I want to come straight. I want I, I don't need anything in the background. I need to come straight so you all can understand what the fuck is going on on this at this regular time right now. These motherfuckers ain't playing and they show you that they're not playing. How they use their police to kill us off and their their police are justified and they say, oh, yeah, we got some police locked up, put in jail. No, they don't. You think these motherfuckers in jail? No, they're not in jail. They somewhere probably deep underground, you know, celebrating. You think they actually in jail? Hell no. But they try to suffice the public. Our brothers and sisters who are fast asleep in this system, who depending on this system to bring us justice. How can you depend on your enemies to bring you justice when your enemies are standing against you constantly? Oh, I hope you get locked up. I, what the fuck are you going to do? 
I'm not talking to my mother. She says, you know, all the stuff they spread in the sky, covering up the sun when they know the sun is our power. They got all these buildings built up. Why the buildings? Because they're draining the energy. They need the energy of the planet to go into their monetary system. This is an interstellar war. Do you understand the 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 fucking the 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 uh the magnitude of what's happening right now? That's why we say when you begin to build structures from the ground, you pull the energy from their system back to our system. Understand what's going on. This is a war that we are in right now. We are at war. All the junk food in the gas stations and the liquor stores, all the junk food in the food in the stores, tacos and 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 Doritos, you know, I mean, look at Doritos. It's got poop in it. It's got shit in Doritos. It's got bat shit in there. Seriously, they got bat shit in Doritos. And our brothers and sisters eat this shit every fucking day and don't know that they eating shit. Seriously, this is a war that we in right now. And so many of us are so goddamn asleep. We refuse to awaken and we die in our sleep. And then when we come back, we're angry. And why are they angry? Why did why did so many children coming back? They're angry because when they left here, they left it with nothing. And they come in here and they're coming back here with no knowledge, neither. Hmm. You think about that. Because the only thing that you can take with you when you leave this planet is knowledge and wisdom. That's if you leave this planet. All right. If you leave this life, only thing that you can take with you, with, with you is knowledge and wisdom. All the money, the cars, the clothes, the shoes, all, all that, that physical stuff, this stays right here and it rots. It breaks down. It's no good anymore. The system that they created, this monetary system, you let this, the money is what? Cloth. 75% cotton, 25% linen. You let it sit for long enough, it begins to fade away just like clothing. You take it in and out your pocket and it starts to fade away and then it starts to lose its, its viscosity. All right? Understand. This is a war that we in, brothers and sisters. And our enemies have created so many lies Oh, yeah, we traded money and we did this. No, we didn't have any money. Why would we need money when the planet was was ours? The planet is still ours. And we had everything at our ass. What would, what would we need money for? You see the lies that they told? Oh, Mansa Musa had this and that. Who the fuck is Mansa Musa? I don't remember no Mansa Musa in my past life. When they said Mansa Musa, I said, who the fuck is that? I don't know who that is. And I know I know a lot of the, 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 the beings that were here that they don't want to talk about. But you see, these these inorganic beings create so many lies. And then what's the first thing our brothers and sisters do? They go and believe it because somebody wrote it down. All right. So understand, this is an in, uh, ongoing interstellar and cosmic war, interplanetary, interplanetary, galactic, intergalactic war. I mean, this is this is. This is how big this shit is. And the only way that y'all going to bring shit back into balance is you got to begin to build structures that will bring you power from the, the from the cosmos as well as the center of our planet. That's the only way that you want to get your powers back. So many, so many are saying, oh, who do I build? You know, I was talking to a brother. I was at Menards yesterday. I had to go. I, I was going in there because I had to look for something. And um, there was a brother. And he says, ah, oh, he says, finally, I get to meet you. You know, he was a security guard. And he was telling me about how he uh, created a um, copper pyramid. And he's got magnets all around and he's trying to get it to spin and constantly spin on his own through perpetual motion, never stopping. All right. And then there's another brother that who brother who um, he and I co communicate through texting and he's doing the same exact thing. I'm like, what the fuck? So, yeah. And both of them said, thank you for introducing intelligence to me. Both of them. That's what they said. Both of them said, thank you for reintroducing intelligence to me. 
So you have to understand, brothers and sisters, our power is in intelligence and it's not money. It's not shoes and clothes and job positions and, and how many uh, 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 viewers you have, how many followers you have. It's not about religion. Not the, the power is it's all about you returning yourself back into the balance of nature and the cosmos, which means that you have to build your power. You have to let your power be from what comes from nature which means we built our structures because we understood the structures brought us power. Remember we talked about what these inorganic beings said in that document? They said, we, when we came to this land, the land means planet in a Masonic tongue, when we came to this land, there were hundreds of thousands of structures and we knew that this was their source of power. And what did they put in that book called the Bible? We and God, because they call themselves God. And God saw that they were reaching the heavens and said, let let us go down and destroy the towers, our towers, so that we can scatter them across the land and change their language. Why would some kind of God who created a, a people destroy his own? Come on now. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. We knew there was them. They have several, several documents. So understand, brothers and sisters, we are in the midst of a of a of an ongoing interstellar, intergalactic, interplanetary cosmic war at this present moment. And it's up to you because I'm making the change myself here, but it's up to you to make the change. It's up to you to rebuild your powers and your powers are in your structures that you created. That's where your powers are. All right. YouTube, this is not a uh, hate speech. Let you know this. This is not a hate speech. We're bringing this shit straight just the way it is. So if you feel that it's hate speech, that means that you already know that you have some guilt because of what your forefathers did to my species, to 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 my uh, uh, kindred, to my kinfolk. All right. You understand what they did and you want to try to uh, uh, safeguard what? What are you safeguarding? What are you trying to keep? You're trying to make sure that the lie stands. Or are you going to turn on your own? You have that question within you. Tell me that. Is that question within you? What am I doing? These people don't deserve this. What am I doing? Think about it. <laughs> All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever and ever. Remember, chaos brings what? <laughs> exactly. Not peace. All right. Peace don't bring no power. Chaos brings power. All right. Much power to you all.